welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go and do a little speed through renovation on Miss Indigo Springston's Apartamento. If you're not familiar with who the hell Miss Indigo Springston is, then you need to take your colito out from underneath that rock girl boy because honestly, it's what's happening on this channel. The Springston Legacy is definitely my bread and butter. Um, I think it's what I pretty much am known for, I mean, on my channel. Like, it's the series that's known the most. I don't even know. But anyway, um, if you have no freaking idea, I highly suggest you check out the Springston Legacy Challenge. It's a good one. It's a goodie. Um, anyway... Okay, so here we are in Indy's apartment. Now, if you guys watched the previous episode of The Springston Legacy, then you know Miss Indy has been going through some hard times lately. She got fired. <laughs> Brian's being a creeposaurus. That's our neighbor, by the way. Yeah, and moving on. And let's see what else is going on in the wonderful world of Indy. Oh, yeah, she thinks she's turning into a vampire, losing her goddamn mind, and is probably going to end up in a mental freaking asylum with the rest of the Sims in freaking Willow Creek. Yeah, these are all actual things that are happening to her right now. And she did have 10,000 simoleons, which is a lot of simoleons, tucked away in a suitcase for safekeeping. Um, she was originally planning on using that money for Anaya's future fund or a home, um, you know, in a better school district, that kind of thing. Because honestly, as much as Indy loves apartment life, it's just not exactly idealistic. Um, she really would like to have a home that Anaya could grow up in, that her children uh, could grow up in, her grandchildren, all that kind of fun stuff. And it's just, I don't know, she just feels like it would be more um, logical to live in, live in a house. So unfortunately, you know, <laughs> you make plans and life laughs and that's exactly what's happening to our girl. But I do believe with the small amount of money that she had available to her, she really turned this freaking run down, super dirty and dingy apartment into something she can kind of be proud of. Now she definitely splurged in a few places. She probably shouldn't like that fancy dancy new flat screen TV. I mean, it's not the most expensive thing on the block and thank god there ain't no burglars yet in the game because I mean that would be like the thing that they would go for it's it's a hot commodity out here she also fixed the holes in the walls the leaky tub just a whole bunch of much needed upgrades um to kind of make this apartment more of a um you know safer place for her tod toddler toddler whatever toddler is that a word now jet <laughs> I really do love the way we kind of reorganized the overall layout of the house. Um, we did get some help from Brian, even though I hate Brian. I don't hate him. He's just a creep. And as the story progresses, you're going to see exactly what I mean and why. <laughs> mm, it's good. It's good. Is stage five clinger anybody? Yeah, over here to the left. Hey, anyways. <laughs> so I did change out the layout like I had mentioned. And although I'm not like too partial on how it looks, to be honest with you, this is just a really awkward apartment anyway, just the location of it and kind of where her apartment's placed. But I did the best that I could. And I do feel like, you know, Indy has um, a little more room in the bathroom. And maybe over time we will be able to get ourselves a shower and a tub. But I didn't want to run her down to like, you know, basically nothing. Um, She still has like about $3,000 or so left over. So that should definitely tie her um, or hold her over <laughs> until she gets herself a job or she's able to somehow, some way, um, make ends meet again. It's just really tough. But I seriously am in love with her apartment. I think it's cute and cozy. All the lights and the way that we opened up the walls, especially taking out the bathroom, which was like right where the kitchen is. Um, it just allows this really warm ambiance that kind of comes in through the morning and the evening. It's just super duper cozy. And we added a fireplace. So she's pretty excited about that. We also have her incense and Anaya's bubbles. We didn't throw those away. Um, anything else? We still have some photos. And we need her to go take some more so we can actually like fill up the apartment. I definitely feel like that is going to be Indy's thing. She's going to have like a lot of photos and kind of stuff. We have some wall fixtures there or wall lamps that kind of just, you know, illuminate the, the area a little bit. Now, I did love using these columns as kind of like corner, <laughs> corner borders. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> it is today. Um, but unfortunately, when we put the walls down, they like stick up and it's just not cute at all. So we'll take those down. But um. 
you know, just wishful thinking here as we're going through the item catalog. And you would love nothing more than having this super vintage and uh, glamorous bedroom set. But of course, she can't afford it. So I did notice yesterday when we were like scavenging the streets for just odds and ends to make ends meet, we did find this little <laughs> mysterious box that's worth 1,400 simoleons. Now, Indy, she got it for free and she kind of wanna, she kind of wants to see what it's about. So in the next part, I'll probably have her play with that and if it's something worth keeping, we will. Um, and if not, maybe we'll sell it and get some money out of it, I suppose. And another thing that you guys obviously noticed, I ripped out all the nasty, dingy carpet and it revealed these beautiful maple wood floors. So there was definitely some things in this apartment that were actually just kind of undercover. So as we come to the end of this speed renovation, I'm just letting you guys know that I will put this on the gallery at 102606 for you guys to download if you wish. And with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.